What is up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Showdown Heroes. Now, today I'm gonna bring you guys a sort of team build or something. Uh, you know, around Mega Alteria. Now, Mega Alteria is definitely one of my favorite megas with nice attack stat, nice special attack stat. You know, you can run a mix. Its defenses are nice. Its speed is well, pretty much okay, but overall, Mega Alteria, you know, beautiful mega. So today uh, I'm going to be running a mixed Mega Evolution just because uh, I'm not going to be running Dragon Dance just be, uh, you know because you know Mega Charizard X pretty much outclasses Mega Altaria uh, so there's really no point if I were going to do Dragon Dance I I'd rather go you know Mega Charizard X you know it's kind of much better. So here we go moves are Hyper Voice, Fire Blast for any Scizors or you know Ice types or anything like that. And you know, strong as well, very powerful. Earthquake for the heat trends that would come, uh, you know, my way. And just you know, have a bad day with Megalteria. And then Roost for reliable recovery. You know, in case we enter in Stealth Rocks, then we can Mega Evolve, Roost up, or do some other shenanigans. Well, here we go. EV spread is uh, four in attack, two uh, max special attack, max speed. I I uh, I am gonna be going the modest nature. Just because there's no really there's no point of Timmin since you know we're not really gonna outspeed much and since uh my little Terry over here or Wendy should I say has pretty good attacks at 110 and you know just four we could pretty much do a lot of damage to Heat Trends. I don't know if we could one shot them, I don't know. But we will do a lot of damage. So of course my little Terry has do uh, does have weaknesses. Uh, let's see, she has what the dragon weakness, the ice, the steel, and the poison. I believe that's the dragon ice steel poison. So the perfect Pokemon for that is of course the Ferrothorn. Now Ferrothorn being weak to fire and ground, I believe. Or is it fire just fire? I don't know. But let's just say fire and ground. You know, Wendy completely covers and she could take any fire type hit, of course. We're nice and bulky, so first one over here, and it's gonna be uh, uh, pretty much our our wall, you know. Over here moves our gyro wall to any fairy types, like maybe I don't know, Clefab or something. And then we have power up over here, you know, nice strong attack. And we have stealth rocks and a leech seed, of course. Stealth rocks, you know, we gotta set them up to dumb rocks like always. Uh, EV spread, we have max HP, well, not max, I guess, 240 in HP. 92 in defense and then the rest in special defense. I am going to be going a relaxed nature just because the speed doesn't matter and you know the speed will actually power up. Yeah, it will power up drive on me more. It will not really power up, but you know, help us. So we're gonna be good. Uh defense is the 353 speed. Yeah, defenses are pretty good. Over here I, I decided to add a slow bro, another wall. Just because I need it, I can't let Furthorn get like he can't take all the hits. You know, I don't know if you if you understand me by that. But anyway, we have Claire the Slowbro, nice and shiny Slowbro, holding the leftovers. Same thing as Furthorn. Regenerator is gonna be really good because if I'm at low health, I switch out and then I could switch back in. I could um I could gain HP and that could actually matter. So moves are gonna be Scald, Slide Shock, Slack Off, and Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave is gonna be nice. It kind of like a speed control and that could also help up Wendy to clean up late game. Maybe I don't know. Uh let's see, EVs are 248 in HP, 232 in defense, and 28 in special defense. Uh, I do want Claire to take uh, a special hit. Uh, maybe she might live a Thunderbolt from a Thunderous, I believe, with uh, you know, the max HP and a little bit of special defense. And then we could hit back with Scald or something else. But you know, but you know, we might switch out. But anyway, we have Zill over here, the Tyranitar, holding the smooth rock. You know, of course, the ability is Sandstorm. I mean, Sandstream. Sorry. But smooth rock is good just because, you know, the Sandstorm is gonna last 8 turns instead of 5. So that means we're gonna have a lot of. Sand, sandstorm here. So, moves are Stealth Rocks, Pursuit to trap any Latios so Latia, Stone Edge, just because stab, and then Thunder Wave, so we could just paralyze targets. It's always nice paral paralyzing, blah, paralyzing other people. Excuse me. 
you know and you know just to you know it makes sense you know we have the sandstorm up so why not add an exodus to our team uh you know we got jordan over here with the life orb sand rush of course iron hair earthquake rock slide and rapid spin to get rid of those rocks uh you know evie's max attack max speed with the jolly nature now sand rush is gonna double our speed so we can pretty much outspeed anything in the sand and with the smooth rock the sand the sandstorm is gonna last a lot longer so Jordan is gonna have a field day you know and over here I decided that we need a late game sweeper a nice hard hitting special attacker and what Pokemon better than Gengar like we got Gengar we got the king over here hashtag nappy nation so we got Gengar holding life for we have Sludge Wave, nice and powerful stab move, Shadow Ball, Focus Blast to hit any T Tars or any Steel types, and we have Taunt to, I don't know, just because to uh, like stop any set, uh, Pokemon that want to set up. Like let's see, what Pokemon want to set up? Uh, let's see, uh, we could stop Belly Drum with Zumoro, we could stop any Charizards if we do out speed. Uh, let's see, one thing I know for a fact is that we definitely outspeed Keldeo. I believe we outspeed Keldeo. Okay, Keldeo. Yeah, we definitely outspeed Keldeo by two points. Keldeo is 108, we are 110, we're timid, so yeah. Keldeo, yeah, Keldeo is gonna be a problem in our team. Icy Wind, Icy Wind Wendy, Secret Sword Pharaoh, Claire, not much. Player pretty much walls Keldeo. Zilla, of course, Jordan dies, the king. The king, not much, but you know, we'll see. But yeah, this is my team. Uh, I really think the king is gonna be very useful in this map just because, or in the upcoming battle, just because it's gonna be a nice late game sweeper. I mean, Wendy, of course, as well. We got the Hyper Voice, Fire Blast, Earthquake, and Bruise. You know, I feel like Wendy and the king are gonna be putting the most work. Whoops, my bad. But then again, we got Pharaoh, you know, pretty much everyone in our team is porn. So I'm, I'm kind of running, running a hyper offense team, sort of. I have like a lot of attackers, but then, but then again, we do have walls over here. And I, yeah, uh, let's see, common weaknesses that I see we have is we're going with the ghost, to are going to dark. Uh, let's see. Let's go over Wendy's. Weakness, uh, you dragon, ice, steel, poison. Pharaoh pretty much covers that. Uh, Claire covers the the ice and the steel weakness. Jordan co Jordan has that uh, poison type immunity as well as the ice and dragon uh, resistance. What else? Oh, and the steel resistance as well. So yeah, there you have it, guys. Sort of. Uh, you know quick session of the team that you know I built hopefully I, f I feel like it's pretty good let me know your thoughts on this you guys but yeah uh, we should have we should have a showdown battle coming up in just in a bit so yeah stay tuned for that and you know we'll see how this team performs well so if you guys did enjoy go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you're new if you haven't do the right thing there you go and by that you guys I guess I'll see you all later in the next in the uh, I'll see you guys in the battle so which should happen like I don't know half an hour an hour or something I don't know but peace out you guys